Okay, we're not going to be waiting any further. I'm going to start right away. Um, others will join us as they come online. Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to this session. This is um the Hillcrest University Information Session that is designed to provide all the information you need to know about the cybersecurity program that is beginning in um, the month of April 2024. So um, welcome, Travel Docs. Thank you for joining. Yeah, so we're starting right away. Yeah, um, I'll be starting with the introduction of my team members that are here with me and very shortly they'll be coming up to present. So um, with me, I have Mr. Gabriel, who is our programs coordinator. He'll be speaking very shortly to us to tell us more that we need to know about the program. Kindly mute your device if you join, please, so that we can have a very calm environment and others can hear us. Kindly mute your device, please. Okay, so um, having said that, I also have here with me Mr. Uche. Um, Mr. Uche is our IT support person, and very shortly he'll be coming to tell us um, what we need to know about this program. And also I have Mr. Daniel, who is our admin officer and financial officer. He would also be coming to tell us the financial part of this program. And I believe that um, at the end of this program, you understand what you're in for and, and uh, you'll be able to make a very, very wise decision. Thank you. So uh, without wasting much time, I would um, bring in our programs coordinator, Mr. Gabriel, to take the first session. Welcome, sir. Thank you, Favo. Welcome, everyone. If you missed this session, we're going to post a link to the group and other channels so that you can go through it. Um, first of all, I want to introduce what Hickrest University is. Uh, Hickrest University is um, adopting a, a modern approach to classroom instruction. It's called Modern Classroom. And uh, we are a private open distance and internet university. We are seeking approval from the National University Commission, and uh, we are going top gear with it. And uh, one of the things why we uh, are starting this program is that uh, a lot of teachers, when they come to class, with the traditional approach of teaching. Uh, on grade level one, some people say, well, I'm ready to learn. They're just beginning to get the knowledge. Uh, another set of people say, well, I, I've, I've learned this already. This is too easy, and they get bored. Another group of people said, well, uh, they have pre-learning gap, but they say, well, this is too hard. I'm lost. I don't even know well, where to start. And then some group of people say, what am I missing? I was absent. They were absent from school for a week and then they're just resuming and uh, the, the teacher is teaching or maybe unit two or unit three of, of the class and uh, they are just resuming and the teacher feels like he's a failure because he doesn't know how to meet the needs of, of every student in the class. That's a traditional model. The lecturer comes in, delivers all kinds of lectures and everybody's mandated to hear and be at the same level. Uh, but do these teachers really, really feel like they are making a success? In some places like Nigeria, they don't uh, evaluate lecturers at the end of, of the academic term, not like in Europe, where just didn't evaluate and say what uh, it is that they've learned. And if the lecturer didn't make impact on them, they will get to talk about it. Now, we are embracing a new model of teaching. It's not a new curriculum, actually. Now, Curriculum planning and development, we're using an effective use of the implementation of a particular curriculum that is designed for Nigerian universities. And uh, we are combining it with an effective an implementation of a particular educational tool, like a learner's management tool uh, or any kind of tools that we have, but using the same curriculum. Now, what we have is now like a new method of teaching where uh, teachers 
uh, are learning how to design the classroom uh, to be student-centered and differentiate using any tool in their curriculum. What this means is that we are looking at the students at what level they are, whichever level they are, whether they are they are just beginning to study, whether they have studied ahead, all of them can be carried along. We're able to recognize the learning gaps uh, between them. And uh, this is what we call modern classroom. And what is our instructional model? We, we have a blended model, which means that first, we blend technology and, and physical interaction, just like you are here in a lecture now. Uh, we give we introduce the topics and then we give you uh, study materials. We give you we guide you through the learning, and then it is safe space in the sense that if we have a semester, we divide the semester and we say, okay, this is the work that you are you are meant to complete for this semester to meet the learning goals and learning objectives of the curriculum. So you you safe spaces so that if you are absent in school for one week. You can still follow the classes online by reading through the material and completing checks and assignments that you don't need to physically be in the class. So when you come into the class, we're able to, to synchronize what you've learned. Because of course, when you are logged into our platform, we are seeing what you are doing. We are seeing the progress you are doing. And when you are, when you are behind uh, and you, you have not made the 50% of, of finishing your work for the semester, we are able to notify you and find out from you uh, what is it that has kept you from finishing your work. So it's a self-paced self structure. And then it's mastery-based learning in the sense that you have to master a particular topic before you move further. Uh, for instance, if you are teaching algebra, college algebra, for instance, for undergraduates, uh, 100 level, sophomore, or whatever you call it, at that level now, you need to pass some checks to know that you really master this topic before you move forward. If you're not able to pass the checks, we're able to see what is it that you are missing, and then can your classmates help you master it? So we're not looking at really about you, uh, this course you are going to make, we are making, looking at you have mastered the topic we are teaching and not really about you having 100% but you mastered it and you're able to cross over to the next link. But if you don't master it, uh, we will help you to make sure that you have mastered that topic before you move on. Now, uh, if you look at this now, you will see that there are some students there studying on the computer and then they're taking a test uh, also, if you see that. And then in modern classroom, our teachers and lecturers limit whole class lectures. Uh, in the whole class, we only introduce the topic, uh, the breakdown of the topic and what is expected on, on you. Maybe say we pick a topic, we group them into unit, we, ex we introduce what is expected of you to accomplish and what we consider that you have mastered this topic. And then when you have studied the material, you've read it, you take the test. If you fail the checks for that, that test, maybe we might give you time for my recommend some learning areas where you have missed it uh, because the questions you fade most, our algorithm is able to, to recognize the part where you didn't pass much questions about it. So we recommend it for you to go back and study and then come back and attempt the questions again. And when you pass them, you move on to the next topic. Now the teachers or lecturers create original instructional videos and resources. It's not like uh, uh, you are just interacting with a learner management system, but you interact with the lecturer who is in charge of the course himself. Because at the beginning of the module, he introduces the overall module and then at the closing, uh, at the beginning of each topic and each unit, he also comes up to give a short video describing the activities you need to do, uh, study materials, uh, the checks you need to, to, do, to do to make sure that you have accomplished uh, that learning objective and the learning goals. Uh, and then the students can access our instructional materials at all times, uh, in the night, at midnight, at any time, at any time zone they are. They're able to access our material because when they come, you see, they see the real teacher who has recorded a video, introducing them, showing them what they're going to do. It will be in the LMS, they will see it. And if they need help, they will write, and then the teacher is able to um, reach out to them. And sometimes we will group people who are behind in class and try to give them more instruction. We also group people who are ahead and try to see how they can help the other people come along to the same level with them. So in that case now, instead of spending three hours of talking, we spend three hours of, of making sure that everyone understands and everyone is at the same mastery level of what we are teaching. Instead of delivering a three hour lecture, uh, we're able to, we've already seen people who have made progress in the class and we've seen at what level they are and then we're able to to pair them together to work. And uh, that's what is called blended instruction. It's blended in the sense that we're using technology in combination with human. Yeah, we're not just using only technology, but we, you are 
blending technology and human techniques in teaching. So that's the model we are uh, establishing our university on. Uh, and then uh, if you look at it here now, uh, you will see that students are safe pace with each unit of study. For instance, if you see lessons up there now, there's a class place for class name there, the period and the unit, the the credit load that it has. So uh, we show them this is the lesson. Uh, this is at which time you have a conference call with a teacher. Uh, this is where we are going to describe the objective of this lesson. And uh, this is what and what is needed. Uh, I don't know someone who is drawing on the screen, but that's that's okay. We'll continue anyway. So each lesson is classified as um, as a must-do activity. There are some activities that you must do to make sure that uh, you have passed them. Those ones, you must do them to progress to the next stage. Then there are activities that you should do. The should-do activities are the ones meant to strengthen your knowledge. You can go ahead and go without them, but doing them actually show that you have mastered what we have taught you enough to be able to demonstrate it. And then uh, there are something that you aspire to do that gives you more in-depth knowledge. You, they are optional, but uh, we recommend that you do them also because they are like extra work uh, to do for you to, to get to master the basic of what we are, start, we are doing. And we will see all of that when you accomplish it. You know, uh, the teachers track each student's progress daily to help students stay on track. We track your progress daily or weekly. Uh, how many units have you studied so far? Uh, how many must-do activities have you done? How many should do activities? And we're able to give you personal feedback on your study journey. Uh, it's not like you you stay in the 300 lecture hall where there are 300 students and uh, one teacher comes up and teach and then he doesn't know, even know who, who goes in and who goes out and whether he doesn't understand or not. Then he gives a test, no. We're able to see the progress you've made, and then we give you tailored feedback based on the progress you've made so far. Uh, and then um, that's about that. Then if you look at it now, the students are studying on their own there, but there's one teacher here receiving personal uh, support from one student receiving personal support from the teacher. Uh, because the teacher have noticed that there's some gaps, there are some learning gaps between her and the other students studying over there. So he came to her personally to see what he can do to make sure that those learning gaps are closed. And I want to know what is she doing wrong, actually? What does she not understand? This is a university setting anyway. Uh, that's why we are doing something a little bit different from what we have. It's open distance learning, but not like the National Open University system where uh, you, about all you have is study materials. You read and submit as I may know. We are involved in your learning journey and we see what you are doing. Now, uh, the teachers will actually build, will be what we call bit size assessment for each lesson called mastery check. After you have listened to the video instruction in the class, you have studied the materials, then they say mastery check uh, on questions based on that unit which you have studied. And if you score 70, you can go forward. If you don't score 70, you can go back. Either. So our passing score is 70 over 100. <laughs> that, that's a high academic mark anyway. If you score 50, you have not passed. If you score 60 over 100 in our classes, you don't pass. You have to score 70. So you will have to go back and repeat that steps. And then we, after you, maybe you, you score 70 in the mastery checks, 50 in the mastery checks, we will know the areas where you fade more. Then we recommend for you to go back and do those lessons. And then you come back. When you, take, you get 70 above, uh, you are able to pass and go forward. Um, yeah, that's uh, then the teachers and lecturers define a criteria for mastery and help students reach it through what we call uh, revision. Yeah, you are guided by a personalized feedback just for you as a person, it's not for the whole class. The revision is for you that in this topic and this topic and this topic you didn't do well, you score less. Uh, you do so, these are the areas that we recommend that you go back and read this. Of course, the material is on our learning management board, so you go back and assess the materials and then you learn them. Yeah, and then I don't think you, you don't have to buy le lecture handouts and materials because the materials are already put there. The books you need to read, uh, the, the link to the libraries are already there. You don't need to buy any textbook. You just go back and read it. And when we are making revision, we might recommend not the entire textbook. We recommend a particular chapter that this in depth what we we uh, we knew that you had learning gaps in. 
Now you can do a re reassessment. When you are ready to, to take a reassessment, you can do a reassessment. And then when you pass, you move on. Uh, then reflection uh, to help you grow. Uh, we want you to share your reflection with us. You know, we, we want you to know what did you sort of what's your reflection on the subject as you have mastered this subject. Uh, what do you think or in relation to real world scenarios? What do you think this is? And this is for an entire of our curriculum, whether you are studying uh, BSc mathematics, you are studying physics, you're studying electronics, you're studying aerodynamics, you're studying cybersecurity, you're studying everything. It's our model, it's built into every program that you're going to study with us. Uh, now, mastery data informs progression. The students move on to the next lesson after they have shown mastery on the previous scale. So you don't go forward when you don't pass. You know, so when you move forward, like uh, that's that's what is meant to pass. So somebody will say, uh, "How can somebody make a first class or make uh, that you're scoring seventy means that uh, you're already close to a first class. You're already on second class upper already if if you make seventy. So uh, no, no. So then we graduate with it. it, it I look at, so in class lower will take class degree. No, it's not possible for you to do that. Uh, now, uh, my slides are over, so I'll hand over to Favor, and uh, Favor, you you will go on with the particular program we have here, the cybersecurity diploma program that uh, we are taking application currently. Favor, over to you. Okay, thank you so much, Mr. Gabriel, for that elaborate explanation. I believe it is well noted. So um, without wasting time, I'll be moving over to the second part, which is um, uh, cybersecurity diploma and schedules. So I'd like to just talk a little on what cybersecurity is. A lot of people have heard the, the word before, but don't really understand or don't have an idea what it entails. So from the word cybersecurity, it's very simple, protecting your digital space, securing your digital space. So we see that today in the world, there are a lot of hackers out there. There are a lot of people that are trying to uh, hijack, your, um, hijack your details. They are trying to take over your um, bank details, for instance. They are trying to you know, get access to your personal information. So this is where cybersecurity comes in because you gain the knowledge that is required for you to protect yourself and other organizations from these data breaches, from these data attacks by the cyber attackers. So cybersecurity provides knowledge on how to protect digital systems, data and networks from cyber threats. So you, in this program, you'll be gaining knowledge on how to protect digital systems, data, networks, and other network, including yourself, your own personal data and your family's data from cyber threats. As cyber attacks become, become more prevalent, having knowledge in cybersecurity can help you secure your personal information, contribute to a safer online environment, and even pursue a career in a high demand field. So you're not only gaining the knowledge for yourself, you're going to be gaining the knowledge so that you can work for other organizations and earn money. Uh, which is very, very important. Also, we're looking at the duration and structure of the program. This program is going to take a period of 12 weeks, which is three months. Within this period of three months, you're going to be learning a lot that will enable you get, get uh, gain the necessary skills to kickstart your cybersecurity career. So um, the timetable is already prepared. Everything is on ground. And we have seasoned instructors that have decades of experience that are, they are already prepared to deliver. So um, you're going to be giving us three months of your time because this program is going to be practical, it's going to be hands-on, and you're going to have um, 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 other benefits. Okay, let's move to the next slide. The next slide. Um, okay, benefits of the program. What you stand to gain from this program, you're going to be getting support during study. There are a whole lot of cybersecurity programs out there that will just put out videos for you to figure out things yourself. But this one is not like that. You're going to be getting support. That is, instructors are going to be guiding you through every single step you need to succeed. So it's not something that you'll be left to yourself to figure out things, right? You're going to have support. Also, resume review. We're going to be reviewing your resume at the end of this program. Yes, 
Many people don't get jobs these days because their resumes are not in place. <laughs> you cannot just put out your resume anyhow. There are standards for these things. So we're going to be helping you review your resume so that you can be a better fit for that dream job of yours. So um, another thing is LinkedIn profile setup. We're going to help you set up your LinkedIn profile because the LinkedIn platform is a place where employers come to hire people and many jobs are posted there as well. So we're going to help you strategize so that you can get uh, you can employ, I mean, potential employers can see you and hire you. Also, um, they're going to be getting job recommendations. We're going to be writing recommendations for you. Most jobs, you need recommendation. I mean, you need somebody to say, oh, I know this person. This person can do the job. So we're going to be standing in for you and career mentorship as well. We're going to, you're going to be um, having access to mentors that will guide you on the best career. They are going to be testing your ability to see which career path fits you better. Also, you'll be privileged to join our alumni community, which is a great place to network. There, there will be so many job posts, job adverts, and a lot of beneficial information that um, will be helping you in your career journey. So you're going to be joining our alumni community and uh, most importantly, you're going to be certified. And our certificate is recognized by the CPD. So you're going to be having our certificates, which will um which will make you stand out from other, other um, applicants. And also you're going to be getting help with professional certifications from C School and ISC Square. So um at the end of your program, you're go definitely going to be enrolling for other certificates, um, certification or certificate program, because the cybersecurity career, you never stop learning, you continue to learn. So you're going to be taking some certificates, examination, professional ones. So this program is going to be providing support for you to be able to take this um, examination and come out very, very well. Yes, yeah, so these are the benefits that you're going to be getting from this program. Yes, yeah, so at this point, I'm going to hand over to Mr. Uche, who will be taking us on the next session. Thank you. Um, good evening, everyone. Hope I'm very well. Good evening. So I will get on how to um, submit applications for enrollment uh, on enrollment on the um, virtual learning environment, on the virtual learning environment. So now you're going to learn online. So you're going to learn how to apply and how to navigate mm -hmm. in the virtual learning environment. And what you need to do is uh, apply as a student. Mr. Uje, you're not audible enough, sir. Please just raise your hand. You're not audible enough, sir. I'm not very audible now. Yes, it's better. All right. I was saying how you can apply and navigate uh, on the virtual learning environment, which is the VLE. And um, what the VLE is where you where you apply as a student, get your enrollment, see your coffee, get your assignment. So we'll talk about what you can do on it. You can apply as a student, you could wait. Uche, your sound, we cannot hear you. This is what you're going to be doing for your learning and you get your assignment on it. So these are the things you, you get to do there. So I want to show you some screenshots of what you will see when you visit the VLE platform, which is www.vle.ecrestedu.org. So when you visit this link, it will take you direct so this next slide I want to show you now, where it shows you, um, it shows you this part from the text view here, to this screenshot you can see here. This is for the first time, you click on the application form, you can see it's, it's thick blue there, that it's written on that description, it's written application form for new student intake. So we'll click on next, and when you click on next, and also you input your email address at the email address field there.
Uche, your your voice is uh, can hear you much. When you let me take over from Uche, it's like he has dropped out of the meeting. So when you when you go to the platform, the first thing you will see is this. Uh, you should click on um, student application, and then you will see this page where you are able to fill out everything you need, and uh, when you are done, you submit it. And then we'll, uh, when we accept you into the study, then we'll be able to give you entrance to admission and uh, send you a payment link where you can pay. Now, uh, the application form is only for enrollment. And after your payment will be made, you apply. And then when you, you made the payment, that's when you will be enrolled into the meeting. So do not pay make payment to anyone's bank account, the payment link will be sent to you through the email that will be sent for your acceptance. Uh, so let's, let me hand over to Daniel to talk about the finances of the program. Daniel, go ahead. All right, good afternoon, good evening. Can you hear me? Very well, we can hear you very well. Yes, we can All right. hear you. Um, hello, everyone. Uh, the other speakers have actually said it all. And um, I'm just here to give you uh, a summary of the cost of the program, even though I think it's, it's even beyond the 50% scholarship that we earlier mentioned. Because uh, well, after here, you, I also give you some uh, uh, insights on where you can do uh, some verifications to know that what we are offering is uh, way far beyond the the cost of it, because this is not just the program where you will lecture a skill, we lecture cybersecurity. It's a program we are making cybersecurity professionals. It's a program that promises to hold you by the hand uh, at whatever level you are in tech becoming a, a, a global sought after uh, cybersecurity professional. So from the cost of the program, for you to get a course, a professional cybersecurity certified course, it ranges from 249, uh, 249 US dollars. And I'm talking about the barest minimum you can find anywhere. Uh, there are some, if you check uh, uh, Station X, they offer some, some cybersecurity programs and then some, some blogs on cybersecurity. You'll get uh, uh, the least uh, cost of getting a professional uh, cybersecurity certification course. And then you can also check uh, uh, Harvard Marvin. It's uh, an institution that offers cybersecurity. I had communication with them today. They are having some scholarships, and the barest minimum is uh, 1,200 US dollars. And so I'm just giving you some of these insights so that you know that we are actually, especially for the first cohorts, I believe the second one, uh, you can't see uh, some of the, you can't see the, the this minimum cost. So for now, we just want to ensure that we create cybersecurity professionals who will go out there and then uh, start their career immediately. So... Uh, let's move to the next slide where we see the, the, the variations in the cost. So for our audience that are in the UK, you are going to be paying uh, 100 pounds. And I believe that's very, very affordable. And it, it's something that seems to be uh, unrealistic, but we are still committed to uh, uh, bringing our vision of creating cybersecurity uh, professionals who we uh, front the challenges posed, the ever-evolving challenges posed uh, by uh, cyber threats and attacks. So uh, for our audience in Nigeria, you'll be paying 100,000 naira, and those in the US will be paying 400 uh, US dollars. And uh, the, the flexible payment plan we mentioned earlier uh, allows you to spread your payment within uh, two weeks of the program. So you can actually uh, pay twice or whichever way you can within two weeks of the commencement of the program. That is to enable you get enrolled and at least have a taste of what uh, the, the program promises. Then uh, from there, you can even make your choice as to whether to continue 
or not, but I guarantee you it's something that you definitely want to stay committed to because in the end, you still see the result. And that is going beyond uh, you getting a ski from us and then leaving you at that point. Uh, there are um, some internships and job opportunities that we are going to be exposing you to at the end of the program so that you don't, you don't just learn the ski and then uh, let it go waste. You actually put it into practice. So that is it with the cost of the program. Thank you. I believe if there are any questions, uh, they can come. And like uh, Mr. Gabriel mentioned earlier, you're not going to be making payment to any individual account. Links will be provided for that. Thank you very much, Mr. Gabriel. Um, favor. All right. Thank you very much. So, um, favor, you can take over and take questions and answers. So. All right. Thank you so much, Mr. Daniel, for that um, wonderful explanation. I believe it is very, very clear. But um, I would like anyone, um, uh, this is the period for questions, please. If you have any question about all that have been said, please, the floor is open for you to ask. You can just put up your hand if you have any question. Is there any question from the payment plan or maybe you want to talk about the payment, you want to talk about anything at all? This is the time, please. The floor is open. Mr. Travel, I see that you've turned on your camera. You want to say something? Okay, so if we don't have any questions, so the recording of this meeting will be posted in the chat so that anybody that missed it you could come back to it. And then uh, the application link also will be sent to the chat. Uh, we're closing that chat on Monday because uh, we noticed that some, some people in Nigeria will come into that chat to uh, approach people individually, asking them for money. We don't support that. We are not transferring money to anybody's bank account. You're paying directly and you have a receipt for everything you're making payment for, which is online. You have the opportunity to transfer to the payment gateway, but not to an individual bank account. So uh, we're going to close the the group. Uh, and then those who have enrolled, we'll move them to a Discord server where we'll be giving them student support uh, throughout the program. Uh, so thank you all. And uh, we'd like to end the meeting from here. Have a nice day, everyone. Okay, thank you, thank you very much. Thank you.